Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode number 88 of my Road to Commander. I've been getting so much XP all these games today. I've played about uh, three or four games now. Since it's double XP and stuff, I've been getting like 70,000 and 80,000 XP in like every game. Like, it's been insane. And I've leveled up at least once every single game, I think. So it's been pretty insane. I might finish this prestige before 100 episodes. I really wish that it had been double, double XP about a month ago when I started this. But I never thought there'd be another Black Ops 2 double XP weekend, so uh, I just did the Road to Commander anyways, but it would have helped me prestige so much faster if it was double XP. Uh, playing Domination now and stuff, and uh, having double XP helps so much. I wanted to mention uh, this even more, guys. If you didn't watch the uh, the last episode, episode 87, it was my first ever 10,000 score game on Black Ops 2. And if you guys haven't followed me for a long time, that's been one of my goals forever, to get a 10,000 score game. For a lot of the big YouTubers, it's not any big deal. Ten that they're like 10,000 score or whatever. Like I've had a 20,000 score game and stuff. But uh, for me, I've always wanted to get uh, 10,000 score in a game, and I finally did it. So if you guys haven't already watched episode 87, make sure you go check that that one out. That was a really insane game. I'm gonna try to if I uh, if I can level up this game too, I would be level 50, and I think I'm actually really close as well. So uh, that'll be pretty sweet. I can't believe I'm getting like 80,000 score each game, like, or not 80,000 score, sorry, that would be insane, 80,000 XP. Double XP is so much fun, uh, I think guys, when Advanced Warfare comes out, it's gonna be double XP like the first weekend, that's usually how it is for like the new Call of Duty games, just cause they want people to be, you know, enjoying the game and prestige and quick and stuff, so then you wanna play the game more, that's kinda how they get you. I was pretty close to the nuclear last game also guys, I died on uh, like 19 or 20 I think, it was pretty sweet. I had about 7 or 8 VSATs last game to be honest, I think it was the most VSATs I've ever had in a game also. Last game was just insane man, wish I could play that game again. Oh my god, I almost died. Okay, 13 and 4, this is a good start. I think the lobby's not really full. They only have 4 players, so it would be helpful if more guys joined in. Did I really get killed? I couldn't even see anyone. Oh my god, get turned on, dude. I just destroyed that kid. If I had to give you guys one tip for getting like a 10,000 score game like I had last game, I would say try to get capture kills because, uh, you know, a normal kill on domination is like 50, which isn't that much score, but if you get a capture kill, it's 200. And then if you capture that flag as well, you get basically 400 score. I saw this one clip before, I think it was like a world's fastest VSAT or something like that, and it was on Plaza. And a dude, I think multiple YouTubers have done this, but they just throw a C4 over by the B flag because there's always a bunch of people there. And uh, they got like five capture kills in one C4, and then they captured the flag. So literally, it was like a one second VSAT. I think that's like a really cool clip, and I found those always re uh, really entertaining. But like, that's the key to getting a ton of score in a game is get those capture kills, capture a bunch of flags, just play the objective and stuff. Even if you get those things like killed attacker, killed defender, instead of a uh, hundred or fifty or whatever, it's like 125. So those will get you more score as well. Just play the objective and stuff. In domination, that's a key to 10,000 score. I think I'm pretty close to level 50 right now. Oh, I have no, I have no bullets. Oh god, I'm gonna die here. I have no ammo. Yeah, I level up the level 50, and I have the V set, so. That's good. The round is almost over. There's about 40 seconds, so I think I'm going to try to get a few kills here and then uh, stay alive and save my VSAT for the next round because if I already have some kills and some score and I had call on my VSAT when the next round starts, I'd get the most use out of it and uh, I'd have some good momentum and stuff going into the next round. My controller hasn't glitched out that much this game. A couple games ago, it was pretty bad. It was, like, getting really messed up. Oh, my God. I have all three streaks, though, so when the next round starts, this is going to be pretty sweet. Is that guy? Alright, at least I'm on, like, a 50 or 
something score. I could get 10,000 score this game too if there was actually six players. I had 4,000 score that first round. Nine defense, three captures. Yeah, so usually guys, I get like one capture each game. So the last few games, I've been capping a whole bunch of flags. All right, I'm going to call in this VSAT in my counter UAV and stuff and see if I can go on a big streak. Secure the object. I'll call in the counter first. Friendly care package inbound. All right, I'm gonna call him this VSAT now. Enemy has alpha. I really wanted to get a nuclear last game for you guys. I was pretty close to it. Oh my god, they're everywhere. You're bad. My counter's still up, then they won't even know where I'm at, really. Is that a guy? Securing B. I think I'm pretty close to the next VSAT, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and cap this flag. This might get me up to the VSAT. Yeah, I got the next one. Might as well cap this flag. I'm just getting a ton of XP, man. The last few games, I've just been capping flags, racking up score, getting a ton of XP. Maybe I should have played uh, Domination this whole Road to Commander. I played TDM for the first, like, I don't know, like, 70... Eight episodes or something like that like I should have played domination the whole time I thought my thought process guys was that if I play TDM uh, the games would be shorter and stuff and it would be like shorter export times and it would you know I would get like through the whole road to commander quicker but uh, but then now I realize that playing domination you get so much more score and XP I would have been able to prestige in so many uh, shorter games I, have, I have just keep racking up the VSATs, man. 39 and 8. This is good. Maybe I can get a nuclear this game. Actually, I have some bullets this time. A couple lives ago, I was on a streak, and then I ran out of ammo. I'm going to call this next VSAT in, just because I think my other one's about to run out. Yeah, I just ran out, okay. Call them this next VSAT. If they didn't have, like... Oh, I guess they have more players now. They had four for a while. If they actually had six players this whole game, I could have just destroyed. I don't know what gun streak I'm on, but I want to get a nuclear here so bad. No, I ran out of ammo again, man. That always happens to me. I'm just gonna cap this flag. If I can get a nuke here, that would be pretty sweet, but I don't I don't feel like I'm gonna get it. Spawns keep flipping and we have all three flags. This is a super fun game though. Man, I destroyed last game and this game. Got another VSAT? Man. I wish this game would go longer, man. I'm destroying these kids. I'm gonna go for a few more kills here. Oh my, yeah, 20 gun streak, see? If the game was longer and we didn't have all three flags, I could have got a, uh, a nuclear, probably. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I got 7,000 score. Last game I had 10,000. You guys will probably never see me get 7 fly capture. So hopefully you guys enjoyed episode number 88. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.